the habit of buying things when I'm feeling a bit down and January was a rough month for me so I ended up buying myself some makeup, some lush items and some clothes and I thought I'd share them all with you. So first of all I thought I'd do my super drive order which is in this big ass box. Okay. So from super drive I got a mixture of stuff. I decided to treat myself to which has fallen out of the box. Um, some bath salts. Just trying to squish it back in. And these are Eco Bath Balance and Calm and Salt for Soap. And they smell absolutely gorgeous. And I really can't wait to use them. I was talking to my sister a while ago and said that I actually was looking for bath salts. And I couldn't find any that sold them. So I was very happy when I found out that Superdrug has loads. So there you go. Next up, I got myself some um, contour, a contour kit. I only usually use foundation and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try and see what I can, see if I can do it. So this is Barry M and it looks really nice and it's actually got like explanation of how to use it. So there you go. Um, I also got myself a new hairbrush. Um, my one has brought the handles fallen off. And this one I saw had like quite a good reviews. So it's got like long bristles as well as the short ones. But I'm really excited. To, I'm surprisingly excited to use this to try this hairbrush out. So there we go. And let's see what else I got. I got myself a concealer. Again, Barry M, it was like an offer, so I thought, I know, I'll get the offer. I've got the shade light because my skin's quite fair. So hopefully I got myself the right shade. But I don't know yet. And then I treat myself some blushes. I've got cupcake and bubblegum. The reason I chose these colours were more because I liked the name of them than the actual colours. But I think they'll look alright on my cheeks. But oh, I just put some in my eye, but there you go, some blusher. And then finally, I got myself some, I got myself a hydration primer, which is Nivea, and myself a night cream as well, because I've got really dry skin. So that was my super dry roller. I got myself quite a bit, and I'm excited to try it all out. So that was my first haul. Next up, I got myself some lush items, and these smell absolutely gorgeous i love getting the lush items in the post because oh, i smell lovely so what, i can't actually remember what i got so this will be quite fun to do so first of all i had the valentine's um lava lamp bath bomb and it smells really nice and it's got little hearts in it which i thought was really cute so there you go but yeah, it really smells amazing, and I'm very excited to use it. And I'll tell you what it is: it's um, got citric acid, cocoa butter, vanilla, Brazilian orange oil, virgin olive oil. Oh, and the hearts are actually um, edible. I don't think I'd eat them, but you know, they smell nice anyway. Um, what else do I get? The problem is with this: they have so many of the little. White bitch, you can't freaking find anything. Um, I got myself a Baba Bar. This is the milk one. I think it's, yeah, Milky Bar. And it smells very nice again. It doesn't smell like milk, just so you're aware. It's meant to be like quite a relaxing one. So the water should go white and bubbly, but nice and white and bubbly and relaxing. But it smells very nice, and I'm really excited to use it. Um, I also got myself, there should be another bath, yeah there's a bath bomb, another bath bomb in there. I got myself a fizz banger, a nice bright yellow one. And it smells so strong, like really. Like, ooh, I don't know if I'd want to use both, like all of this at once. And it's citric acid, it's got pop, pop and candy, that's the reason I got I chose it, because it has pop and candy and it sounds really fun. But yeah, pop and candy. Cinnamon leaf oil, some oils I can't pronounce, so I'm not even gonna bother trying. But yeah, it's making my eyes water a little bit just from the like smell of it. 
I also treated myself to a shampoo bar. I've been having a bit of issue with my hair and that, so I read this one had really good reviews. It smells like a bonfire. That's the one issue I do have with that. So I can't. I do like the smoky smell, but I'm not sure if I'd want it on my head. But it's got um, cedarwood absolute, which is with smell rose oil, rose petals. I think the one issue I do have with this is the fact that it's got bits in it, but I can't imagine them staying in your hair, so... But yeah, it's very strong smelling of um, the bonfire, but I'm really excited to use it, like it looks interesting. And of course I brought myself a tin, because um, it recommends you keep it in a tin after you use it, so otherwise it'll just like, get ruined and you won't be able to use it again. So there you go. And then last of all, I treated myself to another shower... No, I've got two more things. I forgot about that. So I treated myself to a Prince Charming shower gel. This is um, pomegranate juice, soothing marshmallow root and vanilla pod. And I absolutely love the Christmas Snow Fairy one. So I thought I'd try their Valentine's one. And it does smell really nice and fruit, like fruity. And I'm very excited. It looks cool too. Like I like the colour. It's a very nice colour. So I'm very excited to use that. And then last of all, I got myself some Super Bum scalp treatment. Like, it looks weird and it smells... I do not like the smell of it at all. But it's going to be really good for your scalp. And I'm, like, having problems... Like, my hair's getting really dry at the moment, so... I'm hoping it'll work. It's got coconut oil in it, wax, rose wax, lavender oil. I think that's why I don't like it. Like, I smell the lavender. And I'm not that keen on lavender. But there you go. That was my Lush haul quite a lot but it's a nice treat and I'm really excited to use it when I use bath bombs I might actually record one of little two of them and show you what they're like but yeah that's that and then last few more things I ordered one thing I ordered was I got myself a new camera I'm going on holiday soon and I wanted to do some travel videos so I have treated myself to a new camcorder so I can use this to make some videos whilst I'm on holiday to show you all so I think that's quite I think that's one of my favourite things I've got. And now lastly I got myself some clothes. So I'm hoping I'll be able to show you what they look like on me at the end of this this, this video. Like I'll do some recordings of me and try and get them all in but because I'm not that good at video editing yet I'm not certain whether or not that will happen. But yeah. So first of all I will do this bag of things. I got myself some awesome comic book leggings. The problem is they do look like pyjama bottoms when on but in all fairness I might end up using them as pyjama bottoms but they just looked so cool that I had to get them and they were really cheap as well so I treated myself to them. And next up I got myself some another leggings but these are like they're just plain black, long leggings, but they're fur, fur inside, so nice and warm because next week I'm going to Poland and I thought I need some warm clothes so I thought these would be nice and snuggly and will keep me toasty and everything. So there you go, and these actually fit really nice, so I'm happy with those. Um, I treated myself, let me get it out, I'm probably not allowed, I treated myself to a the map on Middle Earth. It looks better. It fits me all right. And I have to say though, I'm not that keen on the actual print. So it looks very blurry, but it um, doesn't fit all right. And I guess it's, you can tell what it is. It's just the whole like blurred blurness of it. I guess blurness of it. Blurriness of it. There you go. But I like it still. I like Lord of Rings and I like the Hobbit summer. I am happy with that. Um, then I treated myself, I needed some new tracksuit bottoms and it worked out to be cheaper to buy myself some tracksuit bottoms and a jumper. So these were the cheapest ones I could get. They fit alright and I haven't, actually, the jumpers are alright as well. They just say love along the side. And they're them and then you've got the jumper with love on the arms and on the top. That's quite a big baggy jumper which I prefer. So there you go. And then lastly... Well, it's not lastly, but I can't show you where the items. I got myself a cool 
corset. This is for Valentine's Day for me to wear when we go out for our meal. It was too big for me, so I've had to have it altered, so now it fits me a bit better. So then there it is, it gives you a bit of an idea. And I did all I also brought myself some jeans from the same company, however the sizing was completely out and they were massive, which I'm really disappointed about. However, I can't send them back, so I've had to get rid of them because they couldn't be old either. And I also got myself a dress and that's now currently being altered with so I haven't got that to show you. But that was everything. As you can tell I had a big big shop and I cut loads. But it cheered me up. I'm one of those people that like I said when I'm feeling down I will spend and spend and spend to cheer myself up because I like getting presents in the post. Especially when you forget you've ordered some items and then they just like turn up a month afterwards and you're like, oh yay, present. So yeah, that was everything. Like I said, I'm plan hoping to do a video of um the clothes to show you like add on to the end of the video. If it doesn't work though, I'm sorry. But you know, don't really it's not the end of the world. This was just a random little video and I thought because I thought, why not? May as well show you all what I got. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a good day or evening and stay safe. Bye!